Well, hello everybody. My name is Sean McCullough and I did a video a few weeks ago that looked at Amazon's image builder and walked through on the GUI how to use the image builder to create golden image that you can deploy inside your environment. Uh, if you recall, uh, you would start off with a baseline image, your source image, and then you would have these components and each component would install something or run some commands, maybe do a configuration or a hardening, or even run a whole bunch of stigs if, if you're doing stig templating. And those components are, are kind of gathered together in a recipe. And then a recipe says, all right, or a, an infrastructure component says, okay, let me take this recipe, let me deploy it to my VPC. Here is my security groups I need and execute this on an EC2 pipeline would then take a snapshot of that and that would be your new golden image. I wanted to take a look at this uh, image service, but instead of looking at it by clicking on the GUI, let's take a look at it using Amazon CDK. Amazon CDK, CDK is the Cloud Development Kit. This is an open source uh, software framework that allows you to create cloud formation resources using Python or Java and, and some other bunch of different languages. If you're used to Terraform for doing infrastructure's code, uh, CDK is kind of Amazon's answer to Terraform. The nice thing about CDK is that it uh, creates and manages and uses CloudFormation. So you would describe in Python uh, what you want your resources to be, and CDK will deploy those as a cloud form uh, CloudFormation uh, template. So let's take a look at how we would use that in Image Builder. So looking at Image Builder, uh, I, there's, a, there's a couple services we're going to have to, or a couple resources we're going to have to build. We're going to build uh, one or more components, and each component does some kind of installation or test or evaluation or hardening on the EC2. Then we're going to create a recipe which pulls together all your different components. Then we're going to create an uh, infrastructure component which describes how you would deploy that recipe. Uh, to not for your final deployment, but deploy it in order to run the recipe. So in order for you to build this virtual machine, it has to execute as an EC2, install all the stuff you say to install it. So it needs to know what VPC, security group, um, image pipe, I'm sorry, uh, IAM role, all that kind of stuff. That is our infrastructure component. And then we can deploy it in the pipeline and string all those things together. So here is our CDK on the screen right here. Um, we're going to start off with a class definition, and this is everything that's in this class is going to be part of the same CloudFormation template. I got some really nice things in CDK. Like I can say, hey, uh, go out and grab an object uh, that describes the default VPC. And this VPC object that's right here, the software object, this is all Python, by the way, this object has everything about that VPC known inside this object. So subnets, a VPC ID, whether it's default or not, that's all in there. So I'm going to build my component first. My components in Amazon's uh, image builder are YAML files. And the YAML file, which I'll show you here, uh, has a set of commands. And this is a very simple one. I'm just doing a YUM update. But um, you, it would take a bunch of these together and execute them one at a time. You can also use these components for building tests. So um, not so much that, you know, I can run yum and then test to make sure that yum is valid. I can do that. I can also test that if, if, if I build one of these image pipelines to deploy my uh, web application, I could have a set of components that test that the web application uh, was installed properly. So in CDK, I can say, hey, look, uh, I've got this new asset. It's a file and I want you to manage it for me. And Amazon CDK will push this up to an S3 bucket return the uh, URL for the, or the URI for the, the S3 object, the object S3, but I don't have to worry about any of that. CDK stick takes care of it for me. So right here, I'm gonna uh, create my uh, component for uh, this particular yum update. I'm gonna give it the, uh, the location where it's gonna go, uh, or where the, the, the file is. Uh, I got a name for it, and I got a platform. It's either Windows or Linux, and then I create some kind of version. That's it. Next, I'm gonna take uh, that component. I'm also gonna grab a component that Amazon's already created for me. And this component uh, launches in, or installs the CloudWatch agent. 
So I'm going to take these components and I'm going to pull them together into a recipe. I'm also going to specify what my parent image is. Ooh, this is a neat little trick. I can run this command right here inside of this CDK and it will return the latest uh, Linux 2 image. So if this is being built, uh, you know, this Linux 2 images get updated every once in a while, I can always make sure I have the latest every time, time that this CloudFormation template runs. All right. So I go and grab this, this, this Linux. I've created my recipe by grabbing together my components I'm interested in. Remember, it's two components. The one that I created, which is just doing a yum update, and the one that Amazon has, which is the CloudWatch agent installation. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to specify in this amount of this code here how I want the EC2 to be deployed in my environment in order to configure it properly. So I need things like an IAM role. Uh, an IAM role has to have a policies attached to it. I need a instance profile because it's an EC2 and EC2 has to have instance profile uh, and a security group. So I need all these things. Here is me. Here's my command to rate the role. And then I'm going to add two policies to it. The SSM managed instance policy and a policy specifically for image builder. This step is probably taken care of for you uh, when you're using the GUI to build the image, uh, the, the, the image pipeline. But because we're dealing with CDK and doing cloud formation, we have to really specify things that the GUI might do behind the hood. So I create now uh, my instance profile, which is a simple command right here. And then uh, I got to create a security group. And that security group uh, is really not allowing any inbound, but is allowing outbound. I'm not really doing anything fancy with this system. Uh, and then I'm going to... Um, Oh, it's going to allow all outbound, excuse me. So it'll allow all outbound by default. And then I'm going to run, build my infrastructure com configuration. Infrastructure configuration is going to, well, it's going to give it a name, but it's also going to specify I want a T2 micro, uh, the profile name that I had just created above. Uh, because my VPC call earlier grabbed all the information about it, I can specify that I want my public subnet to be deployed in. And then I have my security group that I had created just a few minutes ago. That is that, the um, configuration. Last thing I need to build is the pipeline itself. The pipeline just takes a recipe and connects it with the infrastructure. So hey, I have a recipe. Now I want this is how I want you to deploy it to build the next version of the image. And that is it. That is the full image pipeline. So what I can do down here uh, as I can run a command called CDK deploy and then the name of this project, which is the image pipeline. And it is going to go and push up that YAML file and install the cloud formation. Now I've already gotten all that done just to save some time. So let's take a look at it. Here's my cloud formation um, stack that was, was created. You can see here I'm, I'm at the resource uh, tab right here. I've got a security group. I've got uh, the component for the image builder the configuration infrastructure configuration i have an instance profile here's my recipe and my pipeline so these are all built in the cloud formation template if i go look at image builder itself you can see that i have my linux example uh, pipeline i can click into it i can see oh I, I actually already created an image out of it i've got my image recipe has two components there's my yum update component and then of course the, uh, the Amazon uh, CloudWatch agent uh, component. My infrastructure configuration specifies the role, uh, the subnet, all the information from the, the configuration, uh, the infrastructure configuration. And then I can go in here and I can run action and I can just run the pipeline. Boom. And that will build my images. And I had called the image agent installation, but you know, you can call it whatever you want. So now I have my images being built from uh, in the image pipeline. And this image pipeline is being described completely in CDK and CloudFormation. All right, well, that's my, uh, my little video. I hope it's interesting. Highly recommend looking at um, image pipeline. There's some nice little things over here where like there's container recipes. You can start building your uh, containers and pushing them to ECR, it looks like, through this image builder, which puts all of your image bill pipeline management in one service, which is really nice. And I can describe all that with infrastructure's code using CDK. All right. Thank you so much.